In the previous tutorial we looked at the length method. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at the compare. So we can actually have two strings and we can actually compare them. So what we have at the moment is s username and we're going to increase this to also dim s user or valid user. So we can actually set the s valid user to equal Marsden. And then we can ask for the username when they enter it in. Now we can output the still the length and everything from the previous tutorial. This will actually give us a concatenated sentence where we have the length of the string of the username, what they've entered in up here, is and it tells us the length, so how many characters are in there and letters long. So we can then use the if statement and actually say, well, what we want to do is compare the username with the valid username. So rather than using this statement here, we're still going to use the if statement. So in this case, we're going to compare the string. So we're going to start with string, and we're going to use a method of the string called compare. There are other ones in here, and you can see all the different string methods in here. I'm using the C1 at the moment, so you've got equal and all that stuff. But what we want to do is compare and then we need to put in what we want to compare. So you notice it's got some instructions here. Um, string A as string B. So we want to compare the first string, which is the S valid user. And we want to see if that, using a comma, is the same as what the S user has entered. Now, if that is true, so if they're the same, username is correct, Else, if they're not the same, so when it compares those two strings, if it's not the same, the username is not correct. So we're comparing the strings. Now before we run this program, we're going to have a look at the compare string output. So we're just going to take this, and above the if statement, we're going to just put a debug.writeline, and we're just going to put the contents of that string in. So depending on how it compares those two together and the string, we'll have a look at the output from that. So let's run the program now. Hit start. Click on OK. Now you notice that Mars and Mars were the same that resulted in zero. So if I enter in something else, like ABC, and click on OK, username is correct. But you notice that the, it's given us a one. So when they are odd, it gives us a 1, and where they're the same, it gives us a 0. So I need to swap these two around. So when they're the same, it gives us a 0, which is the true part, and when they're different, it gives us a 1, which is a false, which gives us the else part. So you need to watch out and sometimes you need a debug right line to look at the output of some of the conditional statements to ensure that you're getting the right result. So a zero is true and a one is false. So let's have a look at this. So Marsden and Marsden. So if we enter both those with start and OK, they're both the same. The username is correct and it's given us a zero for the correct part. So we do it again and go one, two, three. 1, 2, 3 is not the same as Marsden in a string comparison, and therefore it gives us a 1, and it gives us not correct. So the 0 is the true part, and the result of the condition 1, which is like false, is the else part. So it's using Boolean logic to drive the decision statement. So our condition is the result of this statement here, which is going to be a 0 or a 1, 0 being true, which is the then part, or a 1 being false, which is the else part. So we could actually put a comment on the end, zero equals true, one equals false. Now we can also adjust the comparison to actually have anything where we can turn this now to true on the end of it, ignore case, so we can set that to true, and therefore it doesn't matter if we use capitals or lower case, it will be the same. So what I'll do, I'll change these now to M A R. So three capitals, which is different to what this valid user is. So they're not the exact same string. So this one's got capitals in it now. And now using the true will actually also give us a zero or minus one, 
will equal true and a 1 will be false. So using this all case on the end now gives us a different output where before we had a 0 appearing we now have a minus 1 which is the username is correct but if we enter in the wrong one again it still gives us a 1. So a minus 1, 0 and minus 1 is still the true part and the false part is still going to result a 1. So this gives you an insight into some Boolean logic also how we can use the compare string to help drive decision making and also looking at more methods of the string class to actually cut down on our programming also becoming non-case sensitive in our inputs from our users. I hope you found this tutorial useful and you'll be able to apply this in dynamic ways as you develop your programming skills.